It's your truly Rico vibes. This is the Flavor Cafe. Cafe. Take five. five. What's up, man? Yeah. I'm there, I know. Recovered yeah. yet? Slowly getting there. <laughs> getting there slowly, yeah. Getting there slowly. The big, big Atlanta Caribbean family yeah. fun day. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it was. I think it was a blast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think yeah, it was yeah, a blast. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Chub Rock performed nice. All the artists that performed. Daily, Daily Man. Yeah, yeah, everybody. Daily uh, Rash Fraser. Rash Fraser, Lick of Pinchers. Malvo, Lick of Pinchers. And everybody. a special guest, too. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Day. Two yeah. special guests. Well, two special guests, yeah. Yeah. Luke D and, and you know, yeah, so trust me, nice, 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 nice one, nice. Yeah. Can't wait till next year. Yeah, and everybody said they the, the, the love that location. You know, when I walked into mm. the location, I said, "This is it." Yeah, you know, it was a fluke. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but, you know, but this is it. I just said, I just, I post, I mean, I post, I said, every stumbling block becomes yeah. stepping stones, you know? Yeah. yeah. So it yeah. was good, it was good, it was yeah. good. It was I, good. I, I really, to me, it was more intimate, you know, yeah. everybody, just, especially the stands. Yeah. It was nice on the stands. Well, you know, I didn't even say this to you. I'm going to say it live on the radio right now. Mm. And that's a radio, right? And the podcast right mm. now. Because I never say it to you, I say, no, don't say it. But I'm going to say it, Rico. What? I'm kind of upset with one of the vendors. One of the vendors. Vendors. Mm. Okay, what happened? So one of the vendor had us to go extra mile for that vendor, right? Just to make the vendor get his, get the license, right? Right? Right. But that's the extra. I mean, extra mile. Like and that's the food handlers. Food handlers, yeah, because that vendor right. didn't have the right paperwork, right? And I'm saying this live because I'm re- I'm really kind of upset about it. I know probably going to load. I have to do it. Mm. We could do a lot of stuff for people. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But sometimes when people go back there and just bash you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, I was like, damn, but I look out for that person. Mm-hmm. That person didn't have the right p- paperwork. That one person didn't have the right paperwork. And I, I said, you know something? He's the first and this person going to be here. So let me just help this person. Right. And I spoke with them. I go to the city myself. And I beg them. And I do what I have to do, Rico, to make, make this person be a vendor. And that person right now, Rico, is bashing me, y'all. Why? I said, um, I told them, I mean, I, you don't heard stuff. Mm-hmm. I, heard, I told them um, it was five vendors, now it's six. Five vendors, period, or five food vendors? Five food vendors, I guess. Right. Well, I guess, but I mean, I, it was six vendors. I right. told everybody it was six vendors. Right. You know what I mean? Actually, Golden Cross is one of the sponsors. And in the last two weeks, within the last two weeks, Golden Cross called me and said, Mike, we, we get our truck ready now, so mm-hmm. we want to be. And I've said no to them. Really? Because I said as no a spa- to a as sponsor. As a sponsor, right. And this person is arguing over. I said no to a sponsor. To, I, I could have easily well cut off this person and say, okay, your paper is not right. I can't take you. Mm-hmm. But I still kept that person and said no to one of the sponsors who sponsored the party for the kids in Rico. Wow. Can you imagine? And this person is out there bashing you. Yeah, man. You so I, I had our, our people, you, can't, you can't please yeah. our people. But I'm going to tell you something. It just will never happen again. Yeah. If you don't have a restaurant, you can't be. You know what I mean? Yeah. Simple. Yeah. So I got to clear that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know that person. I didn't say it to you, because I know if I say it to you, because yeah. no, you can't. But we yeah. right, reach a point in life right now where I don't really care no more. Like, I, Once you do the right I do a lot of stuff yeah, for people. Once you I don't do the right, talk about it. Once you do the right thing, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Yeah, you know. Anyway, back on the show. <laughs> well, <you're> good? <laughs> anyway, yeah, but well, it was a success, man. Congratulations, yeah, man. Respect, man. Respect, you know, congratulations. Respect, it's been respect. 10 years. You know, I'm proud yeah, of you, yeah. what you're doing. You know, I'm going to yeah. say this publicly. You know, yeah, man. Thank you. Uh, so, thank you're doing you, your thing. You start out from nothing, really. Nothing. You remember? You know, so, yeah. you know. That's first, a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, along the way. Money. Along the way, yeah. A lot of money. A lot of people wouldn't know that. Trust me. So, a lot of money. So you, you're doing your thing, and I'm very, very proud of you. I do because I love it. I, you yeah. know, I don't really have to do it. I just, you don't. I just you love know. it. You, you know, know, you have your own business that yeah. you're taking care of. So, you know I mean, I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love to see people happy. You know what right. I mean? Right. I love to see people. You know, much all people, Rico, came to my event, and there was like the last part that they come to and dead after that. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? I say? I know. And then again, you know, people come to my, my event and then get someone pregnant, and then I'm the godfather. You True. know what I mean? So, it's, it's like, you know what True. I mean? Sure. I love it, man. Yeah, one way going out and one yeah, coming in. Coming in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, so, yeah. so big up to everybody that's got it locked, man. Thank you so much for the love and support. A lot of yeah, folks man. been tuning in. A lot of folks been telling me, you know, you guys are doing a good job. So I appreciate the appreciate love. That, appreciate yeah. the support. Even though the last one still Thomas Cosby after them. Yeah, Thomas. Big up to Thomas. Thomas uh, Anise. <laughs> 
We were trying to figure out about couples in the community yeah. who would do for each other. So Thomas and Nisi, you're honorably mentioned. Yeah. Thomas and Nisi, we apologize, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? We apologize. Thomas so. actually called me. He called me he too. Called you know, yeah, he called me all the time. So, oh, I hear that thing that one to me and Nisi, and it's not tight. I mean, so you're tight. Yeah. You're too tight. So I mean, see them and realize, yeah, you know? Yeah, you know yeah, they're, they're, they're seamless. Yeah, man. <laughs> Sorry about that, you know. <laughs> but anyway, the first topic of the night or the first topic of the day mm-hmm. is: Should a woman mm-hmm. approach a man? Yeah, really. The man approach him all the time. Yeah, but it's it's normally that's the norm for a man to approach a woman. You know how good it feels when a woman approach a approach a man, Rico. How do they approach men? Do have, have a woman ever approach you? <laughs> sit um, sit I'm trying to figure out the last year when they approached me. I don't. I, I have not. I don't remember. Even though it's so funny, it's so funny. I have this topic, you know. I got a call last night, mm. and someone said to me, "Say they come for they come for something else, though." Mm. And the person said, "You is the only man in Atlanta ever diss me." A woman said that. I woman, I'm say me. How you mean? She said, "Mike, let me tell you something. I'm just letting you know this. I call it for a different reason still, but I'm just letting you know before we get mm. to the business what I'm calling for." Mm. I was like, "What?" And you said, "Yeah." You're the only man this me eight years ago. And how did you diss her? So my actually said she was trying to look my way and I was looking at her way. But how did she do it? So me, but I mean, can't remember neither. So I said, but no, man, she, she, she shows her me. She said, yep. Mm-hmm. I tell you, all, all is about good as we used to have in Lawrenceville. Yeah, yeah. I said, yeah. She said, yeah, you just pushed me off, sir. She said, Mike, I felt so bad. Wow. And I was like, whoa. Wow. I'm sorry, you know? Wow. Yeah. So, people, but, the question is, should a woman approach a man? Should a woman approach a man? I think they and, should. And, and how should they approach? Because right now, if a woman approach me, mm. unless she's just, just completely upfront with it, mm. unless she like me and she mm. want to date me, I would not know how, how a woman... Really? Because, because they do it so subtle. You know, man is more. I'm not feeling that man. I understand. I'm saying. I'm not saying it's a bad feeling. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying women do it so subtle that men is more more outward with it. You know what I'm saying? But women is more subtle with this stuff. They, Some, they, that's they why, something you don't even know. Well, yeah, but I think the new generation is more. more that is true. The, the that new is generation tell us, "You're more anti, you know? Yeah, the new generation. True, true, true. Yeah. And they go after what they want. They, they try and they're going to get it. That is <laughs> you true. Know what I mean? That is true. Yeah. So, so yeah. but how would you like a woman to approach you? Now, that is a good question. Mm. Okay. Don't buy me nothing. That's a turn off for me. Mm. For the first. Don't buy me nothing. Mm. For the first. So, may I say? What do you say? What not to buy men? Don't buy, what, what is it? What not to buy women? is Don't buy them shoes. Well, yeah, them sort of shoes, but we never really be them super shoes or something to say. But but sometimes the shoes thing like you make you make you think like, damn, man, I'm gonna buy my shoes, but at the same time, we don't want to fight. You know what I mean? Let's <laughs> <laughs> say if you buy a woman a shoe, she'll walk out of your life. That's, that's what, what I heard. they say. That's what I heard. Right? Is that true though? I don't know. It, it never happened to me. But anytime I get a woman, the first thing I want to buy me the shoes. Mm. I'm gonna try it. I may come back and tell you. Okay. Yeah, right, mm-hmm. cool. Hmm. But but anyway, said um back to your question. For the first, like okay, I think some people use gift to try to get you. I right. try to send a signal your way. Right. Because you have, f- yeah. But me not me not me not me not me not like that right away. Mm. So me I say, mm. don't get wrong. And everybody like gifts. Right. But for a woman to try to look a man and first thing she got to try buy him something to sh- to yeah. show that me not, me not no me not like that something. Like yeah. That. The smallest things you want to do. Like, does women still like flowers? I don't think so. Like, nowadays women, they don't no, like the flowers. The new generation, no. Or, 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 or bags. Cards. Bags. 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 They go straight to the big things, you know, bags. What's the cheapest bag out there? Because <laughs> they, they want... But yeah, some what, cheap bag look good in Like, yeah, uh, yeah some cheap like, guest what's, bags. What's, what's the bags? What's the bags that a woman... I mean, it's carry no. Like I don't even know the name Dr. brands Dr. anymore. I mean, Coach bag. Co- maybe? They're not even looking for Coach anymore. They're not Coach is not a uh, nah, big style nah, anymore. Nah, you just, yeah, but I don't think women really go for Coach anymore. Like like wow. back in the days, you know what I mean? I they, you ever got Louis now and and Louis Fendi and whatever, you know what I mean? But but what you pay for a Louis bag nowadays? You can you can put a down payment on a, a house, car, man, a car, a car. Yeah, a car. 
Yeah, but I mean, it's I mean, investment. Jesus, so. yeah? that, that's that's crazy for so the cost of these bags. Have you ever bu- bu- buy a woman a bag for like yeah, thousand dollar, two thousand? Well, no, no, no. Uh, okay, have you? Remember? <laughs> <laughs> remember. No, I, I, I've never paid. I can't remember. I remember. It's been so I've been so long. Bought you know? a bag. I've, I've paid for a bag before. I didn't go and buy it. I give her oh, the money yeah, for the bag, but yeah. it wasn't a thousand dollars. Okay, it was not a thousand dollars. But it's a bag, bag like five, mm. eight, mm. thousand, fifteen. Yeah, bag for four thousand, five thousand. I know more than that. Yeah, more than that. Me not buy one bag for five thousand though. No, <laughs> no, not doing a week. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I had this debate. Mm. With this girl, well, it was it was a guy, mm-hmm. and then and then we were talking to this girl. When you go to a club, like I don't drink, mm-hmm. so I don't necessarily go to the bar. Right. And if I do go to the bar, I'm just gonna ask for water or Red Bull. Right. 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 So I don't necessarily know what if you, even if you tell me a mm-hmm. hundred yards away, a mm-hmm. hundred feet away, and I reach to the bar, I'm gonna forget the drink. Okay, no drink. Because I don't know drinks. Okay. Right. I, be, I believe you. Right. All right. So. If I'm if I'm on a date, mm-hmm. right, I'm gonna give the woman the money to go to the bar, right? Mm-hmm. And there, here, here comes the debate. Mm-hmm. Women are saying that's impersonal. Yeah. You shouldn't do that. I've seen you do that, Mikey. Me do it. Me do it. You know why? Me do it now. And talk about money. Remember? Yeah. I do it. I'll ask. I'll ask a girl. Do, do you want a drink? And she say yes. Miss Miss, you got a bar. Mm. But because sometimes me no want got a bar. Because when we got a boy, I'm going to buy a five, six drink. Right. For different people. For different, yeah. Right. So that's the reason why I don't do it. I rather send one person <laughs> to see it. Okay. Yeah, come in with it. You know what I'm saying? So you're Sometimes. saying it's wrong to give her the money to go to the bar herself? Yeah. If, if you're on a date. Okay. When I do it, I'm, I'm, I'm not on a date. I'm just in a club. I'm going to say, right. why don't right. you go to the bar? You know what I'm right. saying? Okay. But, if, but to go on a date mm. and give her money for buy the drink, Rico. Nah, nah. Right, so I stand corrected. Yeah, yeah. We got to listen now for that one. Still, may I bridge? May I tell you wrong for that still? All right, all right. <laughs> but I'm talking to my friend Juggler and Juggler yeah. same do the same thing. No, because maybe Juggler, I, see, I think the way me I think too. Right. Say so you know I'm buying next person a drink. Uh, me, let me tell you why I do it mm-hmm. is because I do no, not no, know no. drinks. So. I don't. I don't know. I cannot tell you anything about what you know. What's in a this person? Yeah, I cannot yeah, tell you yeah, anything yeah, about drinks because yeah, I mean, yeah, a drink yeah. and I've never drank. Yeah, but the first thing you must do sell mm. like is find out find out what I drink though. What we so right. you so before we rise okay. yourself, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, okay. You know, indirectly, you know what I mean? So right, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. Next time, all right. Next time. <laughs> so, so, so I, I, I stand corrected. Yeah. You know, right? I'm never too old to learn. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah the, if me not a club, uh, you know, with a bliss or a premier lounge, I mean, I feel like I'm at a bar. Yeah, I'll ask a girl, do you want a drink? And I buy her a drink. Well, but, but, bring my something for me. We want to be my But that's just a neat way of saying it. Yeah, it's the same thing. But, 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 no, but we're not on a date, though. Uh, it's a big okay, difference, okay, you know what okay, I mean? Okay, okay, okay. Now, if I go up on a date now, I may go somewhere, I mean, I got a date. No. If she feel like got a bar, mm-hmm. without me saying, and she uh, and you and you'll give her some money to go to the bar, she will ask me, "Do you want another drink?" Mm. And then I'll say yes, and give her the money. And if she, uh, yeah, I will, I will always make attempt to give her the money. Right. Sometimes I will say, "No, man, we're good." Right. You know what I'm saying? But right. I'll always make the attempt to give you the money. Right. Yeah. Okay. So it's a difference still. Okay. But yeah, yeah, you're wrong. It's so. always, it's always, it's always a good thing when you go out on a date and a woman offers to pay. Yeah, man. I don't like it. Well, it's a good thing. It's no, a good feeling. But it's uh, a good feeling. I don't particularly mm. like it because mm. I'm taking you out on a date. But yeah. if a woman offers to pay, it's a pleasant surprise for me. Yeah. Because women don't normally normally reach for the for the for the for the tab or for yeah, the bill. Yeah, yeah. So, so when a woman does so it, yeah, when a woman does it, it's a good feeling. And you count that woman as a good woman. And sometimes I can't understand. You know, I will just try with that thing. You know. Oh, yeah? That's what I say. Watch me on him. <laughs> Call it more down the road. <laughs> <laughs> now, Call it more down the road. Um, one of the questions that came in this week mm-hmm. uh, in my DM was, how long is too long to be engaged? Hmm. How long is too long to be engaged? So, asking a Jamaican a question, you're going to get a good answer. 
Because you remember back in the days, Jamaican, we had to live with somebody for years, you know. Yeah, common law, common, common law. law wife, not no. just Jamaican, yeah. 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 Okay, well. African, yeah. whatever, common law, common yeah. law marriage. So, hmm. I've known people who've been engaged for three, four, five, six years. That's not right. Right. So how long is too long? Yeah. I think if you're engaged within, within a year and a half, you're supposed to get married. A year and a half, two years, year right? Half, yeah, yeah. I think that's two years even too long. A year and a half is good. I mean, if they if they're saving for the for the wedding, mm. and if they're saving for whatever, two years. Two years. If you're saving, so two, two years. years. Two years. But I said two years at the most. Because if you engage, you're supposed to live together, right? Well, not necessarily. Because when you, when you engage, you know, and you say, "Are right, we gonna live together?" No, because we want to, we want to learn each other. And you want to save. You want to save at the same right. time. So, I say, so if you spend a year with a person. You should know if you want to marry them or not. Right? Person, yeah. I firmly believe if you're going to marry someone, mm. you should live with them first. Yeah, man. And you must have sex with them first, too. Well, of course. But some people don't. After, after, after we know we live just like marriage. that. No, that would you never happen. Me that, sir, we call, we me, me, if, 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 if after you're married now and you're going, it's something too big. We have F- first of all, if you have Switch sex up. with them before mm. and you see too big, mm. something has to be done. We either not gonna get married or you're gonna you're gonna do something about that. But how do you tell us it's too big? I can't marry to you. What do you do? But then again, see that's the argument that women bring to you. You know, they must mm. say, "I know me big. Are you small?" Well, so <laughs> if me ever in a situation, me I tell you honest short. Mm. Me not gonna say it still you know. We may go find. Me we got grocery. Me pick up one bag of blue soap. Mm-hmm. Every time you got grocery, you, if, if she even said, you know, I said, me got grocery, me got grocery, man. Mm. I mean, I bring in some blue soap. You must know what that's supposed to mean. Really, if you wash it with blue soap, it's yeah, supposed man. to tighten up. Yeah, that's tighten how we work. Yeah? Does it work? Big, we Do you know if it works? <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> Ladies, does blue soap work? I heard it work, though. Really? Yeah, I heard, I heard, I heard blue soap tighten your skin. Okay. And some people, some people use blue soap to tighten your skin. Okay, so. Yeah, so whatever but, chemical but, in it but, work. But. The vagina is supposed to be a muscle, right? It's still skin. What I'm saying is what the... Hmm. Well, if me buy a blue soap and she a read between the lines. See. If she want to go to surgery or something, whatever else, I do some exercise. Yeah, but you might, because, rip, you might rip it up again. <laughs> yeah, but then if you get rip up, if you get rip up, you know. But then again, the vagina is supposed to be, to be able to expand. Remember, sir, a baby come out of the vagina. Yeah, what do you go right back? It's supposed to snap back. Yeah. Some of them don't. Some of them don't snap back still. Hmm. Snap back. <laughs> Boy, I tell you. Anyway, <laughs> how long is too long to be engaged, engaged. or yeah. to be in an engagement? Yeah. You know, two, I said two years. After two, two, yeah. after two yeah, years, yeah, you should yeah, get married. Yeah. Yeah, if no, you don't no, get married yeah. after two years, Somewhere move around. on. Yeah, move on. Yeah, it's true. Move on. It's true. You know, it's true. So the, one of the other questions I got also is, should you, when you on a job, mm-hmm. should you open your social media to your coworkers, or should you lock your co- you lock out your coworkers out of your social media? Yeah, man, lock out the coworkers, man. Yeah, that's what I say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yep. Mm-hmm. But this, there was a debate. This girl was like, you know, she, you know, she's trying to figure out should she lock them out? Should I ask, you know, ask the question? I'm like, I told her straight up. Me, I personally, I lock them out. Mm-hmm. Let Some people out. that I want don't want to follow my business, me lock them out. Actually, I invite I invite one of my workers to the family for one day, mm-hmm. and they were shocked because they had no knowledge of what you do. Of the other side of mic, right. right? They were shocked, like literally shocked. She was shocked, Rico. Wow, that's a good thing. You don't, you don't, you know, yeah, you don't yeah. share yeah. you. You know what I'm nah, saying? It's too, it's too separate. And people, no, lock them out, man. Lock them out, them out. Co-workers get locked out of lock social, yeah. especially especially your boss. Yeah, man, lock them up, hey, right? <laughs> especially up, your boss. But you know, they, they take they take what you do on on social media now and, and bring it to the world. Yeah, no, yeah, yes, yeah, so I do. Yeah, because mm-hmm. a lot of people yeah. say, oh, I can't take no picture dancing. I can't take no pictures yeah. because yeah. I don't want my job to know what I do mm-hmm. or that my job was frowned upon it or whatever yeah, the case yeah, may be. Yeah, yeah. Even teachers, I, I have a lot of yeah. teachers that don't allow me to take pictures of. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. they don't want their students to see, see yeah. you know, what it is that they and, do. And that's understandable. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 especially teachers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, do, what do you think about this abortion, the, 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 the reversal of Roe versus Wade? I don't agree with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I right, think about this, right? A girl get raped. 
Mm-hmm. And she chose not to carry that child. But which we she has all right she, not to. Yeah, because she now she would think every time she sees that child, she's gonna remember that radio. Yep. It's unfair to that person. I mean I say so I'm gonna really agree with The about government it. shouldn't have no say in a, a woman's yeah, body. Yeah. Yeah. No say whatsoever. But the a good thing is the states them are making their own rules. That's part of my life, my life yeah. part of California yeah. Yeah. Uh, just signed a, um, a bill into law, executive order, a bill into mm. law that says, you know, mm. it's a safe abortion state. Mm. So if you want to have an abortion, but yeah. they're trying to prevent um, the government from, from intervene, intervene yeah. and go in there and, and prosecute those people who go there. Mm. I, those, those I, I even saw the news where you have a couple of companies. Mm-hmm. Willing to pay mm-hmm. for, for your fear to go there, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Which is which is good because I mean, no matter how you look at it, it's it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Man. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Bull, 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 Government bull. has no, no say, say in what you do, a young lady, woman, do with her body. So you see, that's a start, in America. It's a start of how the country gonna run, you know. Well, I mean, the, 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 start, the, what it is is the white folks they're not reproducing enough, mm-hmm. and they fear that brown and black, black and brown people over. is gonna take over. And going to be the majority. Some people are saying about the COVID, mm-hmm. population control. Yeah, and I know they're doing this. Yeah, let's watch it. You know. Yeah, and yeah. and and no telling what else they're going to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So people, <laughs> be aware. You know, vote. You know, you, you have control at the voting machines. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they said to vote, vote, vote. Waiting about the recession. Do you think we, we're in or going to be in a recession? No, no, we're in a recession. We're in a re- yeah, I think we're, we're in a recession. In. I, I, in think, a recession. I think the money that was running during mm-hmm. COVID with the, all those mm-hmm. um, PPPs and all that, no money is running like that anymore. Yeah. We're in a recession. We're I don't in. think they're going to admit it. Yeah, I think, I, I think we're in a recession still. Yeah. And trust me, it's going to get worse. Of course. Tariko, I'm telling you something right now. If, if if America don't hope in the bar of letting workers, right? Trust me, it's right. gonna it's gonna be it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's going down. Yeah, you know what I mean, I like, saw something sad the other um, yesterday. Um, some some folks was coming in from uh, might have been Mexico. Uh, it was um, not Mexico, a different country. But five or six of them died, right? Yeah, in a hot truck. Yeah, that's a hell of a death, man. So I was talking, I was talking to I was talking to Mexican today. You know what? They, you know what he told me. He said, some of the drivers, you know, they, 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 they charge X, X amount of money to bring you across the border, right? Mm-hmm. But when they bring you across, they don't really care about you, you know. Because they already bought you across. Yeah. So once they get the money, they're just gone. Yeah. So, so that's me. what they did. They abandoned the truck. So maybe that's what happened. Yeah. They kind of caught up. That's, so these are human beings, though. Think man. about four to six times, maybe 5,000 or 3,000. It's a lot of money in Rico. You know how, how hard they have to work to come up with that money in their countries? Yeah. A lot of money. It's sad, man. I don't know. You know, it's funny. We're all born in the same world. What separates England from America, from Italy, from Canada? What sep- we're all in the same world, People. Man. People. Yeah. People. And it started with classism. Yeah. Yeah. People, you know? It's, it's sad, man. It's sad. Very, 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 very sad, man. Yeah. But it is it is what it is. But this this abortion thing, it's not gonna end. It's not gonna end now. No, they're gonna it's gonna it's gonna get worse. But but I think it's gonna return you now. I, I I think it's gonna turn back over. You don't think so? First of all, I don't. You see, the Supreme Court that's yeah. the only place that you have a job for life when you once you get on. Yeah, once you get on. Yeah, I think you know it's gonna that don't make no sense to me. You know. Because there's going to be so much protest about it. It just starts. Oh, it just starts, yeah. You know, I'm telling you, there's going to be so much start. protest about it. Just start, man. Yeah, that's crazy, man. That is crazy. Yeah, so what do you guys think about the abortion? Um, the Roe versus Wade being reversed. And now it's illegal in America to have an abortion. And they can even lock up the doctor that mm-hmm. if he performs an yeah. abortion. But you see, something are like even the guns now. You know you can walk with a gun. You right. put out a permit. Right. Yeah. But at the same time, they will lock you up for mm-hmm. abortion. I mean, like, mm-hmm. you can't understand these laws and rules, man. So that means so the men, we really got to bag it up. Mm-hmm. Because if you don't want a baby, you're not, there's no way to get rid of it. Yeah. You're, wow. re, you're, you're stuck. So you really got to bag it up. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. It's, it's, it's amazing. So what else you got coming up, man? 
All of a sudden, let's play October first and second. So it's two different, two different nights. Yeah, so it's Saturday and Sunday. Okay. I mean, I think what's, that, the, what's that, the name of the play? Guilty with explanation. Okay. Guilty, yeah, guilty with explanation. And, and it's not, it's, it's not Oliver. I mean, I mean, I know I'm the fly like in a, in a cape, in, mm-hmm. in a judge cape, but it's a different twist to it. Okay. It's a very different twist. It's like okay. basically, I'm um, um, in bus, the girlfriend. Bo- and the girlfriend husband, which is his son in law, he got Ooh. busted. Ooh. So I say, You're guilty, man. You know what I mean? I said, Stuff okay. like that, you know? So, okay. yeah. <laughs> so okay. It's very funny, though. Very okay. funny. So it's, it's already showing? It's already. Um... It, I'm sure already in Canada. Okay. So he got a um, c- couple shows in England, and that's why he sent his passport to England oh, to get a stamp in it. Okay. So that's what happened to the, okay. uh, the family fund there. Oh, okay, that's why he didn't make it. He didn't make it. Yeah. Okay, so. he got a, does he have to get a visa to get to, to, to England? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, really? Stamp in the, yeah, wow. Stamp, yeah, stamp in the book. Wow. So all the cars, all the cars, they have no passport. You know, okay. Until, you know until I mean? they get it back, right? Yeah. Wow. So, so for me, it's um, what is it, August 26th, we got um, mm. um, Culture Clash. It's, culture not, clash. it's not a sound clash, okay? It's not mm. a sound clash. It's a culture clash, meaning genres, music. Oh, okay. Okay. so the different DJs are going to be playing different genre of music, mm. and whoever wins that, that you know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, it, it could be Kumpa, it could be reggae, it could be dance, all that wins, but mm. it's a culture clash. So, who you have as DJ? We've got Nini, Juggler, Steely Bashman, myself, um, who else? Negus, John mm. Wayne. Uh, that's all I can think of at the, off the top of my head. Mm, interesting. But it should be, you know, you should, you know somebody pick a culture, you know, yeah. pick a genre, and you play that genre, and, you know, who get the biggest forward. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's not a sound clash, okay? It's not a sound mm, clash. So everybody see the clash part and figure, you know. Interesting. Yeah. So that's mm. August 26th inside of Bliss Lounge. Mm-hmm. So make sure you check it out. It's Steely Bash Paint, myself, Rico Vibes, alongside Bliss Lounge, who's doing that on a Friday. Mm, Friday. Yeah. Uh, so um, I was 13. Actually, I'm playing with the, I'm playing with, I'm playing alongside Fab Five. Oh, the, Fab the five. fabulous Fab Five. Yeah. So we we at the, the Atlanta Jamaican Association Ball. Mm-hmm. That's at, at August 13th mm-hmm. in Atlanta. So I'm that's the, the band that sings um, "Accent for Love," right? Yeah, yeah. That's right. You know, they sing another song. I, I, I mean, yeah, that's yeah. the one I, I remember. Okay. That's the most famous one, <laughs> yeah, I think. Fab Five. Yeah, you know? Fab Five. Yeah. So I was, I was, I was. Happy to get a phone call, so right. to play with Fab Five. Oh, just yeah, it's huge, yeah. you know. So this weekend, uh, um, this Thursday, of course, uh, you know, Gal Farm Thursdays continues. Yeah. Um, uh, I think it's short skirt and and something. Yo, know, juggle fly, but but popping man, it's yeah, flies, yeah. man. Yeah, he, he, he makes yeah good step flies. up and give it flies. Yeah, the flies yeah, are yeah. nice, you know. Getting, getting way better. Make you want to go. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And then this Friday is Nike versus Puma. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I'm not a Nike fan. I'm not a Puma fan. So I don't know, but Nike versus Puma this this coming um, Friday. I'm more, I'm more a Nike fan. You're more a Nike fan. Nike fan still, yeah. Okay, so I think Nike has been winning. Uh, yeah, I think Nike has been winning. Yeah, Nike is Nike. You know? Yeah, you can't go on Nike still. Yeah, you can't go on Nike, Nike for real. Nike uh, Saturday is um, uh, I think it's a bottles party over at um, the ends. Oh yeah. Yep. And then we got. Um, Tropical Addiction downtown Atlanta, mm-hmm. and then Sunday the pool party has been cancelled because canceled? it's supposed to be raining this weekend. Oh yeah, okay. And then you got Stone Love and a couple other sounds inside of yeah. Grand Crystal Sunday night because you know this is July Fourth weekend. July Fourth weekend, busy yeah. weekend, very busy weekend. But you know some from my um, family fun day, mm-hmm. I, I, I don't get a rest. I think I'm a rest this it, weekend. Oh, you think? The, sh- like I'm looking well, forward to this weekend to get some rest. Like, man, to get I, had some a, rest. I had a pinch nerve, a pinch yeah. nerve all, all all last week, man. I was yeah. working in pain, brother. Yeah, yeah. But I'm uh, feeling much better now. Yeah, it's no, getting, you know, I'm just a little bit sore, but it's getting yeah. better. You know, so big up to those parties. Big up to Ace Bash. Ace Bash was a was a big hit. Mm-hmm. So big up to Ace Bash. Big up to uh, Stuck in the Nineties. How was that? You know, that was good. It was uh, Soul Supreme, uh, Polish, uh, King AP. Um, Spooky the Boss, you know, they did their thing, yeah, okay, you know, so cool. Stuck in the 90s was really good. Um, and uh, uh, Kavis Certified Love uh, Party. Yeah, I miss support, her party, man. Support, I miss, support, I miss, I miss we her support, we support, we support. Yeah, we. I miss her party, but 
It's not yeah. intentional. Yeah. I just couldn't, just couldn't make it. That's so right. Big, 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 happy birthday to Karis as well. Big up yourself. Happy birthday, Karis. And uh, Matt Cuban, she had her party as well. And yeah. that was a good party as well. So everybody did well. Everybody did well. You know, what happened now? And I said, I put a lot of stuff back to do the uh, events. So right. like, I'm, I'm so busy right now at the shop, you know? So it's like, yeah, right. night and day, Rico. Night and day. Yeah, man. Oh, Crazy, boy. man. Oh, boy. So I'm getting, I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting yes. there. Getting I do there. remember to log on to the Flavor Radio 24-7. Yeah. 24-7 uh, to the Flavor Radio, singing melody. Um, uh, radio show is coming to the Flavor Radio. It's going to be in about another week or so. Yeah. So make sure you log on to that. Mikey Sparky, you're on. Mondays and Wednesdays. No? Right. And, and also on Sundays. Sundays. Well, well, well the, the show is on Sundays, but right. sometimes not live on Sundays. Okay. But it's still on. Okay. Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. And you can catch me Mondays and Tuesdays from 3 to 6 live on theflavorradio.com. Also in Gambia, the UK, Canada, um, South Florida. Um, you're on OG? OG 97.9 every Sunday, 12 to 2. Reggae show. The Mike is back reggae show. 12 to 2. Every Sunday on the FM dial. 97.9, all right? There you go. And on that note, we have come to the end of another edition of the Flavor Cafe on Take Jake. 5. We'll catch you next time. Peace out. Stay tuned. Yes, sir. Respect. The way you make me feel. On Sunday, August 28th, Love and Reggae Atlanta. Atlanta. Starring Jamaica's I premier entertainer, Ferris Hammond. And Reggae's legendary band, Third World. Love and Reggae Atlanta on Sunday, August 28th at the Cobb Energy Center, 2800 Cobb Galleria Parkway. Tickets on sale now, VerisATL.com or Ticketmaster.com. For more info, call 678-559-8993. Love and Reggae Atlanta.